We're from Mayo Harbour, this is one of our brand new products, which are confined space entry covers. Um, previously in the past a lot of companies have just put tape across these entries, they are quite dangerous spaces, can be you know, gases in there and so on, which can really affect the human going inside to perform some work. So with these we've got places for gas detectors, we have removable signs, they're ventilated covers so all the gas is leaking out of it at, at the moment. There are other times where cu customers will actually um, build a scaffold in front so there's a lot of time and labour spent in actually setting it up so that no one can enter that, that space so it's, it's really critical to their, their safety, the people going inside that it's protected. Um, so the new covers are lockable, they actually are able to fit into your isolation program with a lock and tag and no one can remove them at the time so that'll keep them nice and safe and it's quite unique in the industry there is nothing like it in Australia so it's brand new it's just arrived into the country and one of the other new products which has just arrived this week uh, which was great timing for today's this week's show is our aviation lockouts and again within the industry they, they have quite unique circuit breakers circuit breakers and power receptors so coming up with something to do that was always quite a difficult task so Master Lock are very innovative um, and at the moment they've They've managed to find something to um, isolate all the circuit breakers on aircraft. So if you can imagine a maintenance person trying to perform some work and if someone powers that up while they're near a propeller, it's a pretty dangerous situation to be in. So these are our circuit breakers, quite a simple. These are on most aircrafts out there, quite a common switch, presses in, presses out to power off. So to power it off, if you're going to work on that prop, you don't want no one switching it on. Pop your circuit breaker on slide a sleeve down behind there and then pop your padlock through. So again it works in with your isolation program. Locked it on, that key goes into your pocket, no one can switch that switch on. So it keeps you safe while you're performing that bit of maintenance. And same for the power receptor on the outside. Again very unique situation where they have Basically they'll have a panel on the plane when they open it up and they put a plug in to actually power up the plane. And again if you're working near a prop you don't want anyone powering up that plane. So we just pop it in, just removes nice and easy. Just by turning the knob there, pull him off and that's usually where you'd plug that plug into. So naturally if that guy's on there, you've tightened it up nice and tight. There is no way possible that you can actually plug a plug into that power and power up the aircraft, therefore keeping yourself safe as well. We have heard of incidents where someone has plugged in the plane and a person, a prop's gone and actually hit a person and knocked them out cold. They were quite lucky not to die at the situation, so we think these will be ideal for the aviation mechanics and so on to carry out their work safely.